Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another Juice tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to build Juice from the actual repo that's on GitHub. And the reason that we want to do this is if we want to start experimenting with some of the new features that are coming out in Juice 6, we can actually do this by switching over to the Juice 6 branch that we see here on the Juice GitHub repo at github.com forward slash juice dash framework forward slash juice. So I'm going to show you how to switch over to the branch. I'm also going to show you a few things that uh, that caught me out a little bit and had me stuck for a second. But uh, one of the things I found out was that I did not read the readme correctly. So uh, one of the big things to know is you have to read the readme in order to actually build these things correctly. So before we get started, uh, if you like tutorials like this and you want to see more of them, be sure to support us on patreon.com forward slash the audio programmer. And we also have a free audio development community. And if you'd like to join and uh, link up and network with other audio developers and help each other solve problems and discuss all things audio programming, you can join us on the audioprogrammer.com forward slash community. And so we will get started. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually clone the uh, juice GitHub repo link. So we can do that just by clicking on this arrow and we will just copy this link here. And I'm going to go a little bit slower for people that are just starting out and may not be as familiar with command line and repos and these sort of concepts. So uh, so for more experienced developers, please uh, bear with us as we go a, a little bit slowly for people that are looking to keep up. So now we are in our command line. And the first thing that we want to do is we would like to go to our applications folder. So this may be a little bit different if you're on a windows or if you're or if you're using linux but this is how you do it on uh on osx and uh what we need to do is we need to get into this directory so we will do the command cd which is change directory and then we will just go into our applications folder uh, actually i need to go here and then here's our applications folder and you can actually just take this and drag it like so and then press enter. And now we are inside our applications folder in our uh, command line. Okay, so now uh, I think I need to copy this again. So we will just copy this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm in the applications folder and now I'm going to clone this repo into the applications folder. So what I could do is the command git clone. And then I will just paste this link and hit enter. And now we see there's this new juice folder that's in there. Okay, so at the moment, I don't even have juice on my computer. I'm actually just cloning this. I've actually deleted juice. And now I'm just cloning this from new. Uh, and you see that we're now cloning the repo. And uh, also, I have some tutorials on how to use the command line command line basics. Uh, those are on my YouTube page. Uh, I can't remember what the links are. I'll actually just link you to them should be in the top right hand corner of this tutorial and I'll put a little card there where you can actually click on that if you're curious about some of these command line basics. So currently we're receiving uh, everything and here we are, we should be done momentarily. And then here we are. So now it's done cloning the repo. And if we click into the juice folder, what we'll see is that unlike uh, when you actually download juice from the website, there is actually no producer in this in this directory. So normally there would be the producer and I believe the demo runner in this directory and we don't see it. OK, so the producer, we actually uh, have it in extras. So if we go to extras and if we go to producer and then into builds and all of this is in the readme, by the way, and then into Mac OS X. And then, oh, did I miss something? Uh, oh yeah, so so what we need to do is we need to build this, okay? So what we'll see, so let me show you something that, uh, that I did, um, is I actually used the producer and uh, that can give you an error, okay? I'm not gonna go through the whole thing with you. Uh, I'll do that when I switch branches, but Essentially, what the README will tell you if you read the README 
is that you actually need to build it from the Xcode project rather than from the producer. So in your Mac OS X folder, you'll see a producer Xcode project. And I imagine this would be a Visual Studio project if you were on Windows. And so we actually need to launch that and we need to build uh, from that source code. Okay, so now we're just going to build the producer. So this is gonna take a second and I will be back when this is done. Okay, so here we are. We see that this is built successfully and that this has created a new project. So this has actually launched the producer for us. And now if we go into our folder here, we'll see a new folder that says build and then in debug, and then our producer is actually there. So we can actually just take this and drag this over to our shortcuts now. And now that's fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a couple things that had me stuck when I was actually doing this. So now I'm gonna hit stop tasks. And now I want to, let's say that I want to uh, start exploring some of the features in Juice 6. So we see that we have, if we go to the repo here, we have three branches. We have a master branch, a develop branch, and a Juice 6 branch. And we can also look at that here by doing git branch dash dash all. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually not in the juice folder at the moment, so I need to CD. So I'm in the applications folder at the moment. I need to CD into juice. So CD into the juice folder. And now I do git branch dash dash all. And now we see that this shows us all of our branches at the moment. And we see that we're, um, if we try to switch branches at the moment, we're not going to uh, be able to because it has, we, we've changed the actual uh, juice, uh, the actual branch. So I'm just going to reset this by doing git reset dash dash hard like this. And then if I do git branch dash dash all, uh, so we see we have our juice six branch. And then what I could do is if I want to switch over to explore juice six, what I could do is get brand, oh, get checkout juice six. And now we see that we've switched over to the new branch juice six. And now what we'll do, uh, one of the, one of the first things that we could do is we could just, let's just try to, uh, to do something from the producer. So we have our producer and now let's just create a new project. So I'll just call this new project five and I'll create it. And then we will just open it up in IDE as usual. And now we will just try to build it and let's see what happens. So we see that we get this, uh, this error that says uh, this project was saved using an outdated version of the producer. And so, so now we have a problem in that we have generated, we are on the Juice 6 branch, but we're using the Juice 5 producer. Okay, so what we need to do is we actually need to go back, and we need to go to our Xcode project, click on this again, and now we need to actually rebuild this Okay, so this is going to take a second. And I'm going to show you another thing that uh, caught me out the very first time that I was doing this. Okay, so we see that we got a build succeeded here. But one thing that you'll notice if you're looking very carefully is you'll see down here in our console, we have another instance is running and then it says quitting, shut down. So if you see this, what this means is that you're actually running the producer. So the old version of the producer is actually still running. And what we need to do is we actually need to quit out of that in order for us to be able to build the new version properly. So let's just click it again and see now we don't get that dialog anymore. And now here we are and we see that the juice six uh, project builder actually looks a little bit different than the juice five. And so we have this updated look here and uh, what we can do is we'll just do, uh, we'll save a new project. We'll just call this six. We'll do create project. Then it asks you to save it somewhere and we'll save it to the desktop. And then I'll just quit out of the producer here. 
And so this should open up our IDE. Oh, actually, I think I quit it before it actually opened up our new project, but that's okay. Uh, doesn't matter. But now, so, so now, okay, let's say that we have our new producer. So this is the Juice 6 producer. And now we've experimented with some features and we've done some messing around. And now we want to go back to Juice 5, to our master branch, where we have, let's say, a number of projects that we were working on that are our actual industry projects. So now what we could do is we could do get checkout master. And so we go back to the master branch. And then one thing to keep in mind is that, okay, so now I'm going to open up the producer again. And we will see that when we open up the producer, still the juice six producer. Okay. So that's a problem because we're not going to be able to build juice five projects from this producer. Okay. So I'm not going to run through the whole thing, but essentially you'll get some sort of weird error. Let's, let's just do it real quick. Why not? So new project six, and then we'll do create project. And, and then we see some sort of weird dialogue, but that doesn't matter. Let's just open it in IDE and let's just try to build. And I'll show you that I believe that we will get a strange uh, error here, a linker error when we do this. Okay, so I'm back. And as you can see, we got this linker error that says res failed with exit code three. Okay, so basically this isn't gonna build properly with this, uh, with this producer. Okay, so you're using a, a juice six producer to try to build uh, with juice five, uh, 5 5.4 uh, modules and, and files. So that's not going to work. So once again, we have to go back, not to the producer file. Okay, so don't go to the producer file, but we actually have to go to the Xcode project. We have to double click here. Then we have to build this. Okay, so we got build succeeded. But once again, if you're paying attention down here at the bottom, you'll see that I'm actually running the old version or the newer version of the producer. So because of that, it won't let me uh, overwrite that producer. And it says another instance is running, quitting, shut down. So what we need to do is we need to quit out of that producer in order to be actually to actually overwrite it with the correct version. And now we have the correct version. OK, so what are the main points of this? One is that when you're using a different branch of juice, that what you'll need to do is you'll need to use the Xcode project to actually build the correct version of the producer. Uh, point number two would be that you will not have the producer in the juice folder uh, like if you downloaded it from the juice website. So you will actually need to build that yourself and then just save it as a shortcut, just drag it over here. And that every time you switch branches, make sure that you quit out of all of your producer uh, instances and that you actually build from the Xcode project. And I guess lesson four, which is the most important lesson is read the readme. Okay. So that is so important or else you'll be bound to, uh, to have problems. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we're going to be doing some juice six tutorials very soon. And I will see you next time.